Hi kids! So today we are going to build something very unusual, something that is completely unnecessary, something that nobody really should do um, because there are so many wonderful drippers out there, but we're going to make a pro tank into a dripper <laughs> because we can. So we're going to go real quick to the video and start making that up for you so that you can you can get your pro tank dripping. If you're rolling pro tank coils, you are about 10 minutes out from being dripping with a pro tank. So give it a try. Anyway, let's get to building that. Get get making our pro tank a dripper. You're gonna love this. Hey kids, um, without further ado, we are going to turn our pro tank into a dripper. So what we're going to do is we're gonna take the pro tank atomizer here first. We're gonna take a look at that. And um, what we're going to do is completely disassemble it. We're gonna pull off the rubber cap. We're going to pull out the stem from it. And then we're going to rip the guts out of it besides. So we're just going to pull the, pull the bottom side off here. Pull this out. You want to be careful pulling the, this rubber gasket out because this can disintegrate the easiest um, as far as exposure to stuff goes. So what you're left with here is the um, atomizer itself. And that's going to form the base for our dripper. So what we're going to do now is we're going to wrap a coil for, wrap a dripper coil for this pro tank base. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of, um, take a piece of our silica wick and we're going to twist it so that it's tightly tight on that side, you know, so it's not loose, as you can see here. We've got doubled over, and probably doubled over a little longer than we have to, but um, it has to be that way because we'll show you why in a little more. And now we're going to wrap our coil. Now we want this to sit out just a little bit from the end, and we can correct it a little bit. But we're going to pinch that, and this is my pre-cut 32 gauge canthal wire. Mighty proud of this stuff works really good, wraps a nice little home point. And we're pinching this good with the with the um, wick here. So we're wrapping it. 32 gauge cap ball. Now we've got it all once. We're gonna go around one more time. We're wrapping nice and tight and we're not twisting the wire as we go. So here we are with our basic coil. Now we have to make sure that it fits inside of here and the coils don't touch. Well, okay, I'm going for low ohmage, so I'm only wrapping three times. You could technically wrap four. And by the way, the silica wick I'm using here is um, 32 gauge, 32 gauge handle. It makes a nice, nice light coil. Um, some people prefer 32 gauge. Okay, so that's gonna fit. That is going to fit, and we're just going to assemble the dripper just like we would if we were building a pro tank coil. And normally I put a pin through it at this point to stabilize it, to keep it from pulling down further into the base. But the um, coil in this case, and the, the double wrap of the 3 millimeter silica is going to hold that in place for us nicely. So we've got that centered. I can't get it to focus here. I'm sorry for the, if there's blurriness and such. Um, I'm kind of working over my shoulder here um, with the camera behind me, so it's kind of hard to tell. But there you can see the wrap coil down inside and the little blunt end sticking out here. Now um, we're going to flip it over. And we're going to grab one of the posts, one of the metal pieces of wire, and we're going to bend it over to the side, as we do just for rebuilding a regular pro tank coil. Then, I always lick the gasket to get it moist so it slides back on. Now we're going to put the rubber insulator on there. Remember, we fold it over that one side. Okay. 
pinch this rubber gasket down into there. Some, some people find this to be the hardest part of the entire challenge, is getting that rubber insulated back in there. Okay, and before we fold over the second wire, we're going to check our wrap. Our wrap looks to be holding up really well. It did not fall down too far inside or anything like that. So now we're going to fold over the other wire to the opposite side of the first wire of this in. Let's see the other post. Um, as in all ProTank atomizer rebuilds, you are going to, the most important part of your rebuild, other than not having your coils touch or touch the sides of the walls inside, is clipping these wires. And I use a pair of nail clippers and I clip extremely close, and then I run my fingernail across it, and if I can still feel it, I, I trim some more. And sometimes you have to kind of bite into the little rubber gasket to get them completely flush. But you don't want to feel those sticking out, and I can feel that sticking out, so I've got to go ahead. Whoops. Bump my camera. I can feel those sticking out a little bit. If you can see them sticking out, you know that you've Got that one trimmed down, and let's make sure. You, you make sure of this one simple thing. You are going to have a successful um, rebuild every time. So let's go back to what we look like now. Um, we've got our little our little um, atomizer rebuild. I'm going to insert a pin through this, right through the center of the beefiest part of the coil, and I'm just going to give a little pull up on it. All right, now I'm going to take this pin. And I'm going to go through and make sure that my coils are separated. Now they were when I put them in here, but they might have gotten just a little bit, a little bit separated. So what I'm going to do is make sure none of those coils are touching. Spread them out a little bit. Now this is the point where you can save yourself a lot of trouble and um, put this on a, um, a base and a battery and find out right now if you've got a good coil so that you don't waste any further time on it if it is a bad coil. So we're going to, it's a little tricky getting the atomizer in there. Um, I usually use a pair of flat nose pliers. And you don't want to bend that cup though, so be careful you don't pinch down on it. As you can see, this, this particular batch is frame quite good, which is kind of unusual. Okay, now I'm going to screw this down on my sieve. And we're going to set it for resistance. 1.7 is what that came out to. So now let's take a look at it on there. It's looking pretty good. And while it's on the battery, as long as you don't push the button, you can finish the rest of it. What we're going to do is we're going to take this, take the wick now, and we're going to shove it down into, using a pin, we are going to sh jam that down into the trough around around the atomizer. I get something a little stiffer here. And as you can see, I'm just shoving it in that channel. And I'm going to trim off this part here because, it, well, in fact, maybe I won't. Maybe I just trim it down a little bit. And in my case, I'm just going to let the um, let the wick coil up. Um, I think what I will do is trim it off right. Around. And you can always cut more off later. That's the beauty of this. Now the whole idea is that's going to act as your wick, and you're going to be able to wick, you know, get your juice down into that. So um, let's give her a heat up to see if she works. Oh yeah, look at that. She's red and ready. Very nice wrap. So now here comes the fun part. 
Now we're going to screw the pro tank top on there and see that see that hole through the center of the tank? That's going to be your dripper. And there's a little condensation in this tank because I just dumped some really bad e-liquid out of it. So that isn't going to matter. But we're going to we're going to put this together now. We're going to kind of tuck that wick up in there. And someone said to take the um, take the rubber gasket out that's between the base and the tank, but I think until um, I figure it out, I, I'm not going to. Okay, now that we're done building our pro tank and we've mounted it on here, we've done everything, now all there remains to do is to drip. So first of all, I'm going to pull off the, um, the tank for a moment. There's my wick. There's my setup. And we'll hit the button. There you go. She's ready to rock. And there we go. As you can see, she's lighting up real good. Now, I've coiled my wick, and I have saturated it down with juice. And for this demonstration, I'm using Beta Morph, Beta Vape, Dirty Hippie, which um, Beta Morph e are a wonderful company, and they make some really, really yummy juice for us chronic vapors. Now, I'm going to take and um, drip a little bit more on here just to show you how I did it. I just saturated the wick after I coiled it in there and got it to all lay down. And I'm so sorry for the focus today. I just, I just seem to have a problem with my cameras, my camera focusing. And so now we're going to tuck all that back in there, screw the top on. So we've got a saturated wick, we've got a chamber, and now we're going to start dripping some beta morph juice. So we're going to put five drops in it. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to try vaping it. Let's see how it goes. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Again, this is beta morph, um, beta morph e cigs, beta, beta vape, dirty hippie. And they also have a wonderful playa papaya and piancha colada and then they have a great carameled apple I can vouch for all all of those flavors they're excellent but let's give this another good vape again and see how our drippers doing very good flavor very good taste and as you can see the tank has filled up with vapor so the next time you go to a meet, just be sitting there vaping an empty tank. They'll just, they'll just love that. And it, it's just an enjoyable thing to do. You can, I would recommend buying a dripper if you want to do it. But if you want to see if dripping is for you, and you have pro tank atomizers lying around, and you've already done some wrapping, by all means, wrap up your pro tank coil to be a dripper, and go ahead and drip. It could come in very handy. I find the difference is that the vapor's a little lighter. It's not, and the flavor is not as intense as an actual dripper. After vaping for a while, I'm finding out that the vapor is not as intense, nor is it as um, flavorful as dripping. It's almost there, but not quite. But it's still a great thing to do with your Pro Tank to enjoy it more. It makes it more versatile. Suddenly you have two uses of your Pro Tank and just, instead of just one. So if you're handy with coils and such, just give it a try and enjoy it. It does gurgle a little bit if you get too much juice down the um, tube at one time, but just keep vaping and it will clear right up. Um, I'm also um, vaping at 15 watts, um, 1.7 ohms, it, for those of you who are looking for the um, information for that. But thank you so much for watching. And uh, down below, I'll have listed um, everything, the 32 gauge Canthal wire the three millimeter silica wick. I don't sell those in my store, but um, I do have them, I do have a good source for them, so I'll place that down below. And um, I do sell the Pro Tanks. I also sell these wonderful sits, which are just the latest thing they are, and they're, they're very reliable, very good. We've been vaping them for almost a month now, and we've had no problems with them whatsoever, as well as selling them, and our customers are well pleased with them. But anyway, get back to me any way you can. Send me an email, comment on the video, check out the store. And um, if, if there is anything to, that I can do for you, just let me know to help you in your vaping experience. So as I always say, vape long, vape strong, and thank you for not smoking.